Not now. <laughs> oh no. Can you imagine what it would be like if breathing required effort? Imagine trying so hard to gasp for air, but to no avail. You can barely take in any oxygen, no matter how hard you try. Like the person in the video, this is a reality for the 300 million people around the world who have asthma. But what is asthma? Asthma is a long-term inflammatory disease affecting the airways. An asthmatic trigger can result in the narrowing of the airway due to the thickening of the bronchial wall and constriction of the smooth muscles. This produces a whistling sound known as wheezing. At the same time, mucus is produced by the lining of the airways, which further obstructs the movement of air. If left untreated, this can lead to life-threatening circumstances. So what can trigger such a reaction? Asthma is thought to be caused by genetic and environmental factors. While the genetic mechanism of asthma is not well established, two environmental factors that can trigger asthma are allergies and viral infections leading to airway inflammation. Our presentation today will focus on allergy-induced asthma titled Asthma. A story of bad luck, Brian, the pollen. So this is Brian, an innocent little pollen finally leaving his home for a brighter future. Each day, millions of Brian's cousins would sometimes be taken in by humans through respiration. In non-asthmatic individuals, there are several lines of defense at the cells lining the airways. Allergens could become trapped in the mucus and later coughed up. At the same time, these cells create a strong barrier against allergens. Despite the efforts, some particles may bypass these defenses. In these instances, the immune cells, acting as bouncers, would check for potential threats to our health. Once their innocent status is established and they are deemed non threatening, the individual's immune system carries on and there is no allergic reaction. However, bad luck Brian, as some of his friends would like to call him, did not know what waited for him when he set out on his journey traveling to the human airways. That day, anything that could have gone wrong had gone wrong. To start off, Brian happened to be sampled by an angry immune cell. Although Brian was able to overcome the other physical obstacles, the irritated immune cell stopped Brian because he was having a bad day. Apparently, a virus was found in one of the airways earlier that day. Anyway, upon seeing Brian, the immune cell engulfed him. And doing so, released messengers, called cytokines, into the bloodstream to call for help from other immune cells. The lymphocytes. These B cells and T cells are considered the big boys of the immune system. T cells produce more chemicals which promote more damage to the airways. In addition, B cells produce a substance called antibodies to attract other helper immune cells to the site. Some cells can release damaging chemicals, for example histamines. In short, this army of cells can cause a decrease in the delivery of oxygen to the lungs through the inflammation of local tissues and the constriction of smooth muscle, thus narrowing the airway. All these events can lead to an asthma attack. So will the same trigger result in an asthma attack? Unfortunately, lymphocytes are experts in holding grudges. Once a bad image of Brian is established, any particle resembling Brian can initiate the same reaction. This is the story of how asthma emerges. In conclusion, the development of asthma is dependent on genetic predisposition and human interaction with environmental factors such as allergens and viruses. Thank you.